Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chair that looks like this. The reason why I'm doing this is because once you have a good idea of a chair then you can kind of use this in an assembly. Maybe you can make a dining room set. Um, my students are doing vacant lot projects and this might be helpful. I also want to point out it is negative 19 degrees right now and I'd much rather be doing this than shoveling the driveway. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is start a new part and I'm going to do all uh, inches. So I'm just going to hit the standard inches. There's lots of ways to get this oak chair done. Like um, I'm going to show you how to do the side view, extrude it, uh, do the legs, the back, and then, the, and then there's actually, you got to do the back legs slightly separately. Uh, you could do the seat and extrude down. Um, and you could do the, the back and extrude up. You could do one big rectangular prism. Here's how I did it. So let's start a sketch. I'm going to go on the YZ plane. And I'm going to draw the side view. Um, not really paying attention to dimensions, but I am making sure that everything is at a right angle. Let's go ahead and use that equals constraint. So I'm going to say that this and this are equal. This and this are equal. I'm also going to set these equal. And now let's do some dimensioning. So the tallest dimension is 40 inches. This is 18.5. The legs are two inches. The distance from the front of the chair to the back of the chair is 22 inches. And the height of these legs are 18.5 um, minus, oops, sorry. 18.5 minus 1.5. All right, the fact that everything turned blue, it tells me that it's fully constrained, so that's a good sign. If you started right there on the origin, uh, that's good. If you didn't start on that origin, it might say one or two constraints needed. So let me zoom back out and extrude this. Uh, the width of this is 20 inches. Now I'll go ahead and I'll do the back. So I'm going to click on the back, start a new sketch. I'm going to project geometry. I'm going to grab some rectangles. I'm going to start one on the top. I'm going to start another one. You'll notice it's lined up. Again, not quite paying attention to dimensions. And now I want to set this equal to two inches. You notice these blue lines, that means they're all lined up. If they're not, you might want to use the vertical constraint to line those up. The next thing I'll do is the width of this is 20 minus 2 minus 2. This dimension right here is quite a bit. And you can, it's not given exactly, but you can do this by doing a whole bunch of subtraction. So, you know, 40 minus 16 minus 4 minus 7 minus 2 minus 7 minus 2 equals, it's 2 inches. All right, let's do this dimension right here. This is 2 this is 7, this one is 2, and this one is also 7. Um, everything's fully constrained because it's all blue. Let's extrude that away. And you can do that by clicking the extrude and then clicking on each section. We want to extrude that away. Sometimes it is a little tricky to click on those. 
uh, I will suggest you know changing your angle to the isometric like I just did. Um, let's go all and OK. And now let's do the bottom legs. So I'm going to click on this and start a new sketch. I'm going to project geometry and take a rectangle or and draw that. Let's dimension the leg on the left side is going to be two inches and the leg on the right side is also two inches and then the height of this leg 18.5 minus 1.5 and finish the sketch extrude this so I'm going to click on it there it goes I'm going to change direction and I'm just going to go to next alright I'm going to flip the chair around click on the back side because the back legs are slightly different than the others so project geometry just to make my life a little easier I'm gonna click on this I'm also gonna click on this yellow line and this yellow line those lines are um, these legs over here so like projecting geometry is just another way for like outlining so let's click on rectangle I'm gonna start in this bottom corner I'm gonna go up but not all the way to the top I want to bring it down a little bit um, and then I want to do the height of this part right here so the height of that is actually 16 inches I'm gonna finish this sketch click extrude click here change the direction again and again uh, to next hit OK one of the last things you want to do is change this to an oak wood and finally the last thing you want to do is save this to your Google Drive show your teacher good job thanks for watching